thanks for watching and today I want to present a really cool integral with an even cooler consequence and you'll see I saved it for the end. So integral of x to the fourth x minus 1 to the fourth over x squared plus 1 looks like a crazy integral and in fact it was I believe on the Putnam exam at some point but turns out it's not too bad to calculate because it's just a crazy partial fraction decomposition. So, let's first of all expand out this x minus 1 to the 4th, and I'm going to skip to some details, so if you want to just expand it out or use Pascal's triangle or something, you get x to the 4th minus 4x cubed plus 6x squared minus 4x plus 1, so we're alternating because we have this minus sign, and then we have, you know, four, I guess, um, four choose four, four choose three, four choose two, four choose one, four choose zero. So you have this over x to the x squared plus one, dx. All right, expand that out. Integral from zero to one, x to the eighth, minus 4x to the 7th plus 6x to the 6th minus 4x to the 5th plus x to the 4th over x squared plus 1 dx. And then all you do, you do a long division, so you divide this by this, which I'm also going to skip because otherwise this video will be an hour long, but remember on the Putnam you have like three hours, so if you're really bored you can do that. And so if you do long division, I believe you get something like x to the 6th minus 4x to the 5th plus 5x to the 4th minus 4x squared plus 4 times x squared plus 1 and then minus 4 over x squared plus 1, the x, and then, now going back, we get the following, just separate everything out, and you're left with integral from 0 to 1 of x to the 6th minus 4x to the 5th, plus 5 x to the 4th minus 4 x squared plus 4 minus 4 over x squared plus 1 dx. And then you, uh, what I want to say, uh, yeah, you just integrate that now. So it's you know, x to the 7th over 7 minus 4 6 x to the 6th plus x to the fifth, believe yet, minus four-thirds x cubed plus four x, with no, no zero, no extra, but okay, from zero to one, oh, fine. And this term, which is minus four arctangent of x, it's the, the outsider, you know, we're like, hey, this is a polynomial group, get out this arctangent. But still, we want to respect, you know, arctangent. So we get, and in fact, we really want to respect this because this is part of the unbelievable thing, okay? So we get 1 7th minus 2 thirds plus 1 minus 4 thirds plus 4 minus 4 arctangent of 1, which is pi over 4. And here's the cool thing. All the other terms are 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So, in the end, this integral evaluates to the following. So, there is some simplification here, uh, which becomes, you know, minus 2 thirds minus 4 thirds, that's minus 2, and then minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1, plus 4 is 3, so it's 3 plus 1, 7, minus pi, and 
interestingly, and you'll see in a second, this becomes 20 to 7 minus pi. How cool! This integral relates two numbers, namely pi and what I like to call European pi, because Europeans don't have pi day, because there's no 314, but they have European pi day, which is 20 to 7. Good enough. And the question is, which one is better? Well, let's see. I know, drum roll, okay. Well, what do we have? Integral x to the fourth, x minus one to the fourth, over one plus x squared, equals to 20 to seven minus pi. And now the question is, which one is better? Pi or 20 to 7? But look, this thing, well, I forgot the dx. This thing is a positive function, right? x to the 4th is positive, x minus 1 to the 4th is positive, this is positive. So this is greater than 0, and therefore, 20 to 7 minus pi is greater than 0. So... Maybe that's how it is. I want to see the Greeks, but probably the integral people, okay, figured it out. Therefore, 20 to 7 is bigger than pi. Or in other words, pi is less than 20 to 7. So in fact, European pi day is better than pi day, okay, but both are delicious in my opinion. But how cool is that? And so if you like this problem and like want to see more calculus and more integrals, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.